right with you. Hey y'all and welcome to another video. We're going to continue off with our basketball um, training series this week because I am going home on Friday and I'm going to shift all the days forward just because after making the trip home, I probably won't feel like working out if I'm being quite honest. I might just do some cardio and call it a day, so I'm just going to shift my days forward and then do my max on Saturday. I'm going to swap cleans for front squats and do cleans during the summer when I'm, I'm cut, well, spring, summertime when I'm cutting because doing heavy cleans when I'm not really like as light as I usually would be, um, it's, it's kind of more difficult. So going into just the squats and I'll probably do, so I'll do front squats, back squats, deadlifts, and leg press max. Those will be my four maxes uh, for the month uh, until I, I start cutting. So that's kind of what I want to start doing. Um, so this week we're going to be training like Damian Lillard. Now I know you're probably wondering like why Damian. I don't know, like he's well a friend of mine. He's a big Damian fan, so he kind of just recommended him. And I actually do like Damian Lillard. Um, he's he's kind of like Steph Curry, but he's kind of like the he's kind of Steph Curry, but like nobody really talks about it. They kind of have similar games. I guess you could say Steph does it better, but the games are kind of they're quite similar. Um, and I mean, you know, he just started off with a new team, so there's really no way to tell like how they're gonna do. Um, so <laughs> I don't want to make this like a, a NBA like a NBA video, but you know, like playing basketball, sometimes you get the chemistry with somebody right away. Sometimes it takes a minute. It's taking a minute for the Bucks. But anyway, moving moving off from that, yeah, we're gonna do a Damian Lillard uh, workout uh, video today. This will be part two of the training series we did LeBron two weeks ago, and then. When I'm home, I'll be home next week for the whole week for Thanksgiving. We'll continue off with the military uh, training series. But without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, let's get into the fitness-related questions. First question is, how do I deal with inflammation? Now, working out, you're most definitely going to get inflammation. Like, when you're working out, um, there's kind of a cell that kind of gets activated uh, which causes inflammation because your your muscles are being damaged when especially when you're weightlifting, which then they can be um, they can regrow and be stronger. That's what causes inflammation. But also when you work out, there's some kind of T cell in your body as well that once you work out uh, intensely enough, it will work to stop the inflammation as best as it can. So it's kind of like. If you already have inflammation, then I, I might actually recommend you start working out so you can actually activate those T-cells to, to lower your inflammation. All right, going back to showing y'all what I use for my recovery. Um, this is basically kind of a, kind of, it is, I don't know I keep saying kind of, it is a mini version of the foam roller. This allows me to kind of hit those spots that the foam roller can't really get um you know like maybe my my shoulder uh close to my chest area uh even like parts of my lower back you know my lats those areas that maybe the foam roller really can't get just because of how big it is that is what this little miniature uh foam i guess like foam ball roller does for me so it's been very useful for me because like I said before, the the longer the longer foam rollers, just sometimes it's hard for me to get those smaller uh, muscles. All right, next question is, um, how does working out help with aging? So, first and foremost, everybody ages. Everybody's gonna age. Now, I'm 20 years old, so me aging isn't like that big a deal right now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when you're in your early 20s, that's just, you're looking forward to aging. So, obviously, I can't necessarily relate to everybody who's who's dealing with anxiety about aging. Um, but it, it is also true, like, your anxiety with aging will lower. There's studies that show that it will lower if you get into exercise. And I know everybody says black don't crack. And I hate to be this person, but black will, in fact, crack. If you do not take care of your body. So 
exercising helps with anxiety uh, and aging and will not won't help prevent it but you you won't you won't be as scared about it i guess you could say lastly people keep asking me what i'm eating right now so i'll just go into like each video a little bit of what i eat each day because it doesn't really change to be honest so in the morning um depending on where, when i wake up usually on the weekdays it's always 8 a.m i'll have right now i'm eating four scrambled eggs two pancakes and a bowl of cereal with oat milk uh, thought process behind that i like a protein with no meat because i don't like to feel slow and sluggish before i work out uh the pancakes provide that fast carb for me and so does the cereal and um, oat milk and almond milk have uh, good sources of calcium in it without me having to consume dairy um, which kind of a lot makes me feel bloated right before i work out All right, the first question is, am I doing okay? Um, well, physically, like, I was telling somebody this, physically, I feel probably the best I've felt in a, a couple of weeks. Like I told you guys before, like everybody else, your body go through, goes through hills and valleys. My goal is just to make sure that my valleys aren't so significantly low that it's hard to get back up to my hill. So I feel pretty good physically, mentally. I mean, I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty exhausted in terms of school. Um, you know, finals are coming up, so it's a lot of studying, late nights at the library, you know, doing work, getting stuff finished. But at the end of the day, like, you know, I have the opportunity to be blessed to uh, continue my education and and work towards something you know, that I want to do a, a career path that I want to achieve, which a lot of people don't have the opportunity to do. So, you know, I'm just, it is what it is. Next question is, why don't you work out with anybody? Well, first and foremost, I, I do work out with people. Um, not all the time. Nine t not nine to eighty percent of the time I'm by myself. And that's just... That's fine with me. I don't. It doesn't really work, bother me that much. But also, I'm a firm believer in working out with people, kind of training the way you are and at your level. You know what I mean. So, if I'm not working out with you, it might be because we're we're on two different. We have two different goals, so there's really no reason for us to be working out together. Um, or yeah, you, we have two different goals, or we're just at two different levels, maybe. Maybe you are more advanced than me, or maybe um, maybe I'm just a little bit higher up on the level scale than you, because then that's not us working out together. That's more me training you, which is fine. I do that, but that's not us really working out together. And then also, like, when I'm working out, I'm very, like, that's probably the most serious you'll ever see me. I'm locked in, so, like... People who tend to maybe flirt, play around, you know, laugh around a lot, like throughout the whole workout. It's just, it's not how I work out personally. So I just, 80% of the time, yeah, it's usually just me. Next question is, am I judgmental? I promise you, if I, if you're in my life and you're not like my, like if we're not in a relationship or what you do doesn't affect me, man. Unless you ask me for my opinion, I'm nobody. Nobody. Nobody could care less what you got going on in this world. I got. I mean, to me, it's like, especially in adulthood, you kind of just got too much going on. Um, to just sit there and worry about other people. I mean, some people find time to do it. I understand that, but me personally, like, uh, cause I mean, I'm far from perfect. We're all sinners, so like, like I said again, you ask me for my opinion or how I feel or what I think about this, so am I gonna give you an answer? Of course, but 
Am I going to judge you? No. I mean, like I said, we all have made mistakes. I don't really, I guess you could say some, some, some are worse than others, but that just really depends on your lens. Um, so like I said, I'm not judgmental. No, I'm kind of just like, you want to talk about it? We can talk about it. If you don't, then we don't got to. That's kind of how I kind of go about it. Last question is, when do I want to retire? Honestly, I don't really ever see myself retiring fully. Um, I'm a very restless person, so I don't, like, work is tiring, but I prefer work over just laying around. So if I did retire, it would be me, like, working part-time, um, doing something probably fitness-based um, or maybe even business-based, and then just spending the rest of my time traveling. Basically, what my grandparents on my dad's side do, they they work um a lot but then they don't work as much as they used to so they they spend a lot of time traveling so that's what I do I just I guess yeah retire work part-time and then just travel all right y'all so that's the video for today I actually really enjoyed that workout um just like LeBron's it challenges the core a lot and it kind of makes sense why his um proprioception is actually, or Damian Lillard's proprioception is uh, really good. Those lateral shuffles were pretty hard because like with the resistance, even though I was going off one leg, I had to hurry up and press quick enough because my momentum was, it was kind of forced me back to my original starting spot. Um, so that was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, I, I'm trying to get these in, make them quicker for you guys because I know what you guys are saying. Like, even I don't have the the um the ability to sit and watch a twenty minute video, so I'll try. I'll start doing timestamps and I'll um, make these videos a little quicker, a little shorter, while still getting my my concept through. Um, I say that I haven't edited it yet, so it may be twenty minutes, and I didn't even know. But I'm thinking this one's gonna be a little bit shorter. So, um, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. We're really close to nine hundred subs on the road to one k. So. Thank you for, to everyone who supported me, and I'll see you all next week.